I'm Lee Schofield. I'm Senior Site Manager at RSPB Horswater. We're currently standing in the Swindale Valley. Swindale is one of two valleys that the RSPB look after in partnership with United Utilities. The work that we're doing in partnership with United Utilities is all about trying to make the catchment more resilient to the impacts of climate change. So as the RSPB, you know, we recognise that climate change is the, the, the biggest challenge facing, you know, all of us, humanity, wildlife, you know, our way of life. We, we need to address it as quickly as we possibly can. Hopefully what we're doing at Horsewater is, is showing how we can mitigate the impacts of climate change and also hopefully help to slow its rate of progression, I suppose. Over the course of the last 10 years, we've done a whole range of different projects that are trying to restore natural processes, trying to restore natural patterns of flooding, um, restore biodiversity, help the landscape to lock up more carbon, while also making the landscape more beautiful and more enjoyable. Swindell Beck, which we're standing next to, has sort of been the most locally prominent project that we've done. The Beck was straightened about 200 years ago by the people who were living up in the valley. With a huge amount of effort, they put the river into a canalised course. They put big rock walls on either side of it. And although that made total sense for the people that were living here at the time, it had a number of really negative consequences for the environment. So when you have a straightened water course, the water flows through it much more quickly. The water exits the valley much more quickly, which is exactly what the people that were living up here wanted. But it also strips out all the small and medium sized gravel from the riverbed, which is what salmon and trout need to spawn, removes all the invertebrate habitat, Crucially, it increases the risk of flooding for the people living downstream. In 2015, a massive flooding event took place that really badly affected Cumbria. So Storm Desmond kicked thousands of people out of their homes, flooded properties, washed away bridges, closed roads for months. It was really, really, it was a, it was a huge catastrophe locally. And this project we did in the, in the spring immediately afterwards. So the basic work involved was digging out a new channel, a much more wiggly channel, a channel that's 180 metres longer than the straightened one that was here before. And by doing that and taking away the, the banks of the river that were here previously, the river can now step out into the floodplain, but can also get back in again. So it's operating like a much more natural river system should. So we've got all the natural features that you should have in a river uh, that just weren't there in that canalised channel previously. A few months after um, the work was done and the machines left, we had salmon spawning back in the beck again, and they probably hadn't been here for several hundred years, you know, since the river had been straightened. And although the work that we've done here isn't going to stop Carlisle from flooding by itself, the fact that we've encouraged the water to flow that much more slowly through the valley is going to play a small part in helping that problem. And by demonstrating what we've done to others and that it can sit alongside a sustainable farming operation, we're hoping we can encourage others to do the same kind of work. And then the aggregate effect of that could really make a significant difference for reducing the risk of flooding for people downstream. The work that we've done has really helped to make the land more resilient to those increased frequency and intensity of flooding events that we're expecting to, to happen and we're already seeing happening as a result of climate change. And so hopefully other people will kind of follow in our footsteps and we'll see more of these kinds of projects in future.